now in the moment we are from the front that's not that's not during the peak of about 180 million now we from, from the second story it starts going under water about 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 All the treatment is done at the treatment plant in Nangadi. So this is only the basic is only the catchment. Yes. And we can see that rock because the water level goes down. I'll see. Yeah. This is 35 meters. Mm. Because there is a lot of development going on. Mm. The meters are coming in people are. Yeah, so the rural areas. So it is our duty to tell the people it costs a lot of money yes, yes, yes. to go and build all this. And on top of that, treatment and everything yes. cost a lot of money so oh, they yeah. have to consume water especially on the peak of crisis uh, mm -hmm. there are so many of them they just use the water just anyhow <laughs> It's an experience to see how much water we use in Utopia and Mendi. Uh, never expected it was to have uh, to be using that much water in a day, 1.4 million liters per day. And I think we need to look after that water. Uh, looking at our current population, if it's going to grow, I believe it's going to need a lot of work for us to help as well eh, to conserve water. Here. Uh, for me, it's an educational uh, uh, one. Uh, I got educated and seen how it really how it really works. Uh, it's not just hearing something from somebody, but just to experience it from where it starts and where it ends and where it's been used. You know, that's that's for me. It's a it's a plus. Now I know what it's uh, well, how much it takes to to to, to have water, eh? pure water, for us to drink here. First of all, I would like to take an opportunity to thank the Water Authority of Fiji uh, for the awareness the program they have. Uh, They have made an awareness program, and um, I would like, to, as well as thank the government of the day, that uh, they are doing a very good job along with all the other from the staffs here in the Western Division, as well as the whole of the country. And uh, I've been very fortunate with that I have been visited. I visited uh, the area in Baturu Dam and Nangandu, and 
I'll be very much humble to take all this message to the community to more awareness. Because uh, water is very important. This is a very basic thing in our life. We can survive with the electricity, but we cannot survive with water. So I'd like to thank you very much and all the authority staffs in the Western region. Thank you. So when what all those people have done, you know, it was so amazing <laughs> to see how people, the job you people do it. And we are really grateful, not only that we saw all that, but we learn a lot. Yeah. We're not just only enjoying the water and say, oh, this is a clean water, really. so what? We can go and just have a bath and let the shower running and wait for almost how long. But we don't even eat more in anything. And for us to learn today of how we people work mm. and the place was there was really a big thing. I was enjoying every part of it. Thank you so much for having them. And from the bottom of our hearts, we cannot have enough work to thank the water department for the progress in uh, moving from uh, one year to the other, and even up to the plant. The last one in Natambua, we have heard so much about it. But we didn't uh, know what we know and learn how it goes. So thank you. Everybody all enjoyed. This ticket was the council and the facility to now to learn to know what actually is going on in the world. To be to our source, to the treatment plant, to the keep, to the disinfect, to be the whole thing. Although, unfortunately, we were not taken to a repair site where the boys were doing the repair, make them as well as it hasn't been good, and I'm saying it now. But for your attendance today, is a big achievement for all of us. We know we've passed on the message, so we've let you know what's going on here. And with that, now we're ready. Thank you for attending. Okay.